Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Volkswagen Tiguan 4th generation from year 2008 to year 2016 17 guys. If you need to remove rear bumper covers, stay with us, we'll explain how to do that step by step. We'll teach you how to do it guys. Because there are a few hidden bolts and if you don't remove them, you can actually damage your bumper, you can break your tabs and we want to show you a few tricks. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least to 300 free repair videos including that T1. Why? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos for you. Now if you need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So this is the bumper. Let's go ahead, start on it and show you what needs to be done to remove it step by step. So first thing that we need to do about that T1 rear bumper, let's explain what we need to do. Torx 25 now guys, okay Torx 25, I'm going to try to keep some shade so we can show you okay where we are working now. So uh, right here we need to remove, okay we have the mud flaps here unfortunately, so if you have mud flaps you will need to remove those, okay. You have two bolts that you need to unscrew with Torx 25, one is on, on, next to each other as you can see, two of them. So. Let's go ahead, do that, we're going to go ahead, remove them and we'll continue, hopefully we can do them by hand now, once we unscrew them a little bit. Now that bumper has a few hidden bolts, so make sure to send to the end, because if you pry and try to pull things out, it's not going to work out and you can damage your bumper, guys. So, uh, almost, almost there. Second one is out, and that mud flap. Okay, let's see if it has any more. I think it has one more underneath. Let me show you where exactly it is. If you come to the back side, okay, right there. Okay, you will have one more. Perfect. So if you don't have mud flaps, you don't need to do that. Now it comes out. And you can see, <laughs> in my opinion, it looks so much better as well. So, with that being said now, let's continue. So next we need to actually go ahead and we need to pull guys, okay you can see the arch right here, we need to uh, grab it, okay you have a few clips and gently, okay pull it out, now ours, two are broken so we need to be extremely extremely careful guys because okay you can damage it. So here we have one clip, okay that we will need to remove, so we need to go ahead and pull that center piece out and once we pull the center piece the whole clip will come out okay and we can pull it out which we need to replace. Now there is nothing else right here on some models, okay uh, right here now we need to disconnect okay the mud uh, the uh, fender liner okay right here with another torx because it attaches you can see and it will break so don't pull it guys okay so we need to get this one out uh, otherwise we'll break the fender liner that's what we're doing now and uh, what we're doing on this side practically exactly the same thing will need to be done on the other side because uh, everything is kind of like a mirror mirror look guys so imagine you divide a bumper in two and uh, you just go ahead Okay, and uh, see that now on the bottom we will have more, more bolts that we need to remove. You will see in a second here, everything looks good. I don't see anything else. Now, we need to come right here, okay. Let's go ahead and do two underneath. So we can be done with that side, okay. Let's go ahead and do that. There is one bolt right there, I can see. And there is one over here. Okay, and one in the corner there that we need to remove. That's okay with uh, uh, the little one is probably the same Torx. The, the little one there is Torx 25, I think. So let's do that. It looks like it's exactly the same. Okay, perfect. And now it's loose on this side. We have one here that we need to remove. Okay, that one. This one is, I think it could be even the same. We need to check. It may be 30, it may be 25. So we need to double check that to make sure. Uh, because in my opinion, okay, it's 30, perfect. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and remove that one now. Okay, great. It's loose on that side. Now, let's go ahead and finish in, okay, underneath, okay, on the left side, and then we'll show you where we have more hidden bolts. So uh, right now, okay, we're going right there. Look at that angle, the exhaust looks amazing. So, 
uh, let's see okay there is one more okay right there it's a clip okay that came out now uh, in the corner here we will have one more just like the other side so we need to go ahead and remove it okay let's see that one perfect let's do the one for the mud flap which i dislike a lot and now if we come on this side we'll need to do okay the two on the mud flap that we have on the other side remember the one uh, right there inside we need to do those so might need to pull a little bit to the back let's see if the two is going to fit no okay oh, almost heavy okay need to get the correct angle otherwise it's not going to work those are smaller i think i think those are a little bit smaller let me see yeah those are smaller somebody replace them with smaller ones actually there are 20 on this side whoever worked on that t1 last time okay didn't do good things so let's go ahead and do that now okay remove these two and i think we are even missing two more bolts we'll show you where and you can see even the fender liner here is sagging so we need to address that one and fix it as well always inspect everything So, one coming out, and then another one on this side. After that, that mud flap should come out. Perfect. And you can see all the salt and grime and mud that they keep here uh, we need to remove that bolt that screw excuse me in the corner there here okay those sometimes break guys so let's try to grab it okay and pull it out gently okay that's enough not to break all the things and if we inspect here the only thing is the clip that we need to remove so let's go ahead and do that perfect this one is out now there is uh, should be six more bolts so let's go ahead okay and show me now two of them are hidden under okay the license plate right there but ours they're missing guys right here you're supposed to have one board under the license plate and uh, then you have one more board okay over here you can see just there and uh, unfortunately we do not have those so uh, if you have them you have to remove them now uh, let's go ahead okay and we need to open the trunk and here when you open the trunk in the corner by the tail light okay you will have two more that we need to remove with 25 perfect and we have two more on this side again with 25 start looking at that's a torx 25 so that's what we're doing now so at that point i think i always double check everything because some models may differ uh, but i think we should be able to pull the bumper out so if we grab it has a few clips be careful not to break them where it attaches to the bumper mount kind of like lift up a little bit to the front and pull out here you need to lift up a little bit okay and now we need to go 
on this side and we need to do exactly the same thing okay to this side now so go ahead grab lift up a little bit just gently you need to push forward and pull at the same time because that will release the clips otherwise now you push up and you pull them because otherwise you can break the tabs and let's see if we have anything else holding I think I don't think we do let's double check again okay to see because obviously okay right here there could be something okay okay we need to disconnect our wiring harness no right here we can disconnect it from the back side okay there is a clip for the hitch and we need to disconnect it and continue so we disconnected the uh, wiring harness now let's see if we can <laughs> get it out of the hitch here now uh, because <coughs> let's see how it's going to work okay because we have the hitch installed here and they didn't get through the whole thing okay you can see so we we'll need to come in an angle i believe okay we we'll need to come in an angle in order to be able okay to come out okay to get it out of here so let's see how we can do that so if you have the hitch installed on yours okay you will need to remove the bolts otherwise it will not work guys why because the bumper is not cut so you will need to go ahead in our case we have four bolts okay that we need to remove and uh, once we get them loose okay we'll show you what else we need to do so the hitch will need to come out now let's uh, uh, go ahead okay and get the extension we need extension for one of those bolts let's see if we can reach now perfect now okay it's working So the moment we get them loose, we'll get the impact and see if we can just uh, pretty loosen them. I don't know how tight they are, but if they're really tight, it will not work out. So that's what we're doing now. One is out, bore with a washer. Now we have okay another bore with a washer. Uh, careful on the last one, it will fall, it's heavy hitch, <coughs> not smart your face, right? So hold it. Okay, let me hold it. Perfect. That's the easiest hitch installation and remove that I've ever seen on a vehicle, to be honest with you. Okay, perfect. And it comes out, this is the hitch. Now, that bumper. I think nothing else is holding it to be honest with you all we have to do now <coughs> and just grab it now the wires on the inside need to be disconnected so uh, what you need to do here okay let me see now they come to right there okay that connector here we'll need to disconnect this one okay and we need to disconnect the wire from the bumper now so we need to get the okay the wire out of the clips and the rear bumper came out you can see guys just like that so hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you needing to remove rear bumper on a uh, Volkswagen Tiguan if you have any questions uh, let us know thank you for watching and see you guys next time